In less than a week, Apple is going to be releasing four new iPhone 16 models at their September 9th event. But rather than talking about just the newest or latest leaks in this video, I want to go over absolutely everything. We've heard about these phones from the new displays, battery upgrades, camera features and more. Now personally, I'm most excited for the Pro iPhones. Let's talk about what are you getting this year. Starting at $799, the iPhone 16 is getting some nice design updates this year. Although a lot of the fundamentals are staying the same on the front, for example. We've got the same 6.1 and 6.7 inches displays that are OLED but still locked at a 60Hz refresh rate to get the smoother 120Hz promotion screens. Of course, Apple wants you to buy the Pros up top. Apple is continuing their use of the dynamic island once again to interact with your live activities and around the edges of the phone a super comfortable aluminum design that not only feels great in your hand but it keeps the phone extremely light. On the left side of the phone though is the first big change for this year is Apple is getting rid of the mute switch and they're replacing it with the action button that we first saw debut on the iPhone 15 Pro back in 2023. This new button can be remapped to whatever you want, it's just a dedicated option for the camera or your flashlight or anything in between, but that's not the only new button this year on the right side of the phone below the power switch. Apple is adding a brand new capture button which is one of the more interesting changes across the entire iPhone 16 lineup. And it sounds like the goal is to basically make the iPhone 16 feel more like a traditional digital camera. The cameras this year do seems to be a big focus for the base models as you may have noticed already on the back of the iPhone 16 a completely redesigned camera setup as Apple is finally getting rid of that weird diagonal design that we've had for way too long and they're placing the wide end. Ultra wide lenses on top of each other. It's the same 1x 0.5x setup as before but with some new features like the ability to capture 3D special video because then when you put on your $3500 Apple Vision Pro headset you can be fully immersed in that memory that you recorded now is a base feature on the iPhone 16 previously you can. Only record this type of video on the Pro models but there are practical changes coming like the ultra wide lens is getting some massive updates increased low light performance as well as likely the ability to shoot macro photography for the first time ever. Which allows you to get really close to objects capturing insane detail and this was previously limited to the Pros it's been an iPhone feature for a while but only on the pros and never on these base models, which I think is really exciting. How is all this going to impact battery life on the iPhone 16? And well, we've heard something really interesting that while the base iPhone 16 is going to see an increase of about 6% in battery capacity year over year, one rumor says that the largest iPhone 16 plus is going to see a decrease in battery capacity of about 9% which would be one of the largest battery decreases we've ever seen on an iPhone model and especially weird for the biggest iPhone with the most amount of battery space when well, maybe Apple is doing this because of some bigger internal changes happening on the inside like. The overheating issues that we first saw with the iPhone 15 last year while they have been broadly dissolved. Apple is making a big change to heat management this year as they are said to be installing a new graphite sheet on the inside so that your phone does not run as warm. The MagSafe magnetic ring is also getting a big update this year with it getting quite a bit slimmed down for the first major MagSafe redesign since we first got MagSafe back in 2020. On the iPhone 12 and the iPhone's microphone is also getting a huge improvement this year where it's said to be able to hear you more clearly which is going to be really really nice. Now it is going to be announcing these on Monday September 9th and the release date we are hearing is sometime on Friday September 20th. That is the current rumor date for when these phones are going to be in storage you can buy it in the Apple store Friday September 20th so get hyped because that is not too long from now. 
Okay, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new and I will see you guys when these phones come out because it's going to be, you know, one thing to talk about all these rumors, but to actually see Apple announce it is going to be so fun and so satisfying. Really appreciate everybody over the past year that has been on this iPhone 16 journey with me. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I've been Ali. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.